Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock with some sparkly rainbow cards that I thought I would show you today. I picked up a while ago this pad from Memory Box and it's got two sheets of each one of the colors, kind of goldish green. We've got some teal and blue, lots of different beautiful rainbow colors. The glitter on here does not like flake off all over the place, so that was a good thing. And they have yellow. They have two sheets of each one of these colors, by the way. And then they have another yellow, yay! And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this because I wanted to do a special kind of project. And I have some patrons who just joined recently and I wanted to send some fabulous sparkly rainbow cards out to them. So I disappeared the entire six by six pad. And I'll show you two different designs that I made out of them and I split it between them. First one is this rainbow die from Ellen Hudson. There's five sections, so I cut out the rainbow five times out of five sheets. And then it was just a matter of mixing and matching them. And these base pieces, at first I thought that gold color was gold, but I'm thinking it's more of green maybe. But there's two slightly different colors between them. And then I took the largest arc in each one and put one on each of these different, uh, different rainbow bases and then did the second and the third and the fourth. Now you can't really get a rainbow order when you do it this way because it's just not gonna happen. They're not all gonna be in the same order. You could die cut all of that out of white paper and color them if you wanted. Or if you're making a whole ton of them, then cut them evenly out of the colors that you want so that everybody gets one of those pieces. But this whole process just ends up being kind of random. I just made sure that each one had one of every color in it so that when they all came together, everybody had a little share of the joy. So the next step is to figure out how to put them together. And what I did was turn them upside down and nest them really tightly because they do fit really well together. Put some scotch tape on the back just to hold them in place and a little bit more across it just so as I'm working with the rest of this, it uh, doesn't go anywhere. And then to adhere them onto the glitter paper, I tried another glue and that didn't work because the glitter paper is it, just so textural. It doesn't really hold anything. And it's almost plasticky too, I guess you might say, whatever seals it in. So the dimensional adhesive worked really well to adhere them onto each other. And it feels nice and beefy, really nice for a card. So I did all of them. You can see how gorgeous they are, all nested together with one popped up on a layer. I just think that looks really gorgeous and rich and yummy. So to make a card out of it, you fold your cardstock in half and do the hamburger fold, not the hot dog fold. There was a little girl who once told me the tall cards are hot dog cards and the horizontal cards with the horizontal fold or hamburger cards. That's what she decided and that's what they are in my head. And then you put your die down so that it hangs off the top just a little bit. That's gonna be the hinge where the card bends. But it's gonna give you that, see that little horizontal flat part on the top. You're not gonna see it when you adhere it onto the back of these rainbows and they'll still act like cards, but you won't have to look at that little cut off spot on the top. And then you can write a message inside and they'll stand up, which is kind of nice. Now for the other cards, I'll put the sentiment on that one later, but for the other cards, I wanted to put a rectangle of the sparkly paper on coordinating card bases. I didn't have coordinating colors for all of them, so I used some airbrush to create a little edge around it. I could have done that with just strokes of marker, but airbrush doesn't bleed through, so I thought that would be a little bit better and I'd have an inside that would be white. And that would be kind of nice. So I glued everything down onto card bases and then figured out a simple design that I could do with all of these cards, get them all done and just do kind of a mass production thing. Started out with a sheet of white card stock and cut out circles for the sentiments. And I used the rainbow set from Ellen Hudson that has lots of sentiments in it, but I just wanted to use smile. There are some other sentiments in there about good luck and better days ahead and all that kind of thing. But these cards are going to go to patrons and especially some of my newer patrons. And I just wanted them to smile. I didn't want to make them, you know, think there was anything deeper behind the card other than I just want to make you smile. 
So in my MISTI, I set up a little corner for my circles. And since I can't really, really put any magnets down on top of that, it's such a small thing, I just nested them in between some of the, the magnets. And it holds it in there long enough that I can get that stamp stamped onto each one of those circles. Then I just used all the scraps to punch a gajillion circles. And you could punch circles till the cows come home on these. And if you run out of card bases that have the sparkly on them, these are going to work as well beautifully on white card bases. So you could do the same kind of a thing if you have lots of leftover circles. And then I put a series of circles on each one, kind of in a little flow, and two thirds down from the top. So layout wise, it's pleasing. And I used two big circles of color, two little ones, and the ones on the left and right, I cut just a, a sliver off of it so that they have a vertical edge so they feel like they're attached to the side of the card. So those are all done. Then I just wanted to add sentiments onto the rainbows, and I put that on a little banner piece that I've cut out and used my little scissors to make the arc on the left-hand side. So I think these are gonna be super sweet little cards. I got a ton out of one little pack of paper. So that was kind of cool to have all of those done in one afternoon and have lots that I can send out to people. So if you're interested also in more rainbowy ideas, I have a whole page on my blog, on my inspiration tab, full of all kinds of rainbow projects. Lots of them are coloring projects. So check it out if you're interested in more sunshine and rainbows, and I will see you guys again very soon with another video. So you take care, have a great day, and go have fun with color. Bye-bye.